the question, um, do animal welfare laws reflect the average person's views of animals? Yes, in the sense that most people don't think that animals have an interest in their lives so that the so that it's all right for us to use animals that's that's a question that that most people don't want to confront but this reflects the view that has been popular now for for several hundred years that animals don't care about whether we use them they only care about how we treat them so our use of them per se doesn't raise a moral question only our treatment of animals raises the moral question so I think that to the extent that these animal welfare laws focus only on treatment and don't focus on use, I think they do reflect the, 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 the distinction that most people make in their minds about what, what's all right when it comes to, to, to animals. So, um, you know, where I think that there is a, a, a departure is I think that most people think that animal welfare laws do provide some level of protection for animals. Most people are very distressed when they when they realize um, how how horrific animal exploitation is. You might love your dog and treat your dog very well, but the bottom line is, if you want to keep your dog, uh, you know, out in the backyard chained, uh, and you know you want to beat the dog to make the dog a good, uh, uh, you know, guard dog. Uh, or if you, if you think that that's what makes a, a dog a good guard dog, but basically, if you want to discipline the dog, uh, if you want to, you know, you never want to has, ha, have any uh, uh, show any affection to the dog. Basically, treat the dog just as a as a as a, a living alarm in your backyard. You can do that too, and the law will protect that decision. The dog's your property. If you choose to value your property, you know, in, a, in a, if you choose to give a higher value to your property, that's fine. You can do that. If you want to give your, 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 your property a very low value, you've got to give the dog food and water. Because if the dog's dead, the dog can't function in any capacity. So you've got to protect the interests of the dog that are absolutely necessary to exploit the dog for that purpose. But that's all you have to do. Just like you might decide you want to take great care of your car. You, might want to re you, know, you may really love your car and you may want to spend a lot of time waxing your car. And you may alternatively uh, decide you're going to let your car rust and rot. And as long as it gets through the inspections, you can do that. So, you know, it's your property. You want to value it high, you value it high. You want to value it low, value it low. Same thing with your dog. You want to value the dog high. Fine. You want to value the dog low? Fine. As far as the law is concerned, the only interests that you have to protect are the interests that are absolutely necessary in order to exploit the dog. And so I think people are shocked when they, when they uh, realize that these animal protection laws uh, provide very little protection. Uh, but I do think that these laws do reflect the conventional idea that it's okay for us to use animals, it's just a matter of treatment. We have to treat them nicely, but, but use is okay. And I disagree. I think the use is the problem.